Thank you. I've raised my grandchild almost since birth due to a drug addiction of her parents, which claimed the life of her father when she was two years old. And I have a question regarding addiction. My daughter's addiction has been ongoing for 25 years. And my question is, after that degree of addiction, is there a possibility of mental and emotional recovery yes as a balance yes and we want to take this concept of addiction we're going to answer your questions fully but before we want to receive and offer the advantage that this word and subject provide for this conversation in this moment in time by acknowledging that what we've been talking about about the now reality and the fascination and the involvement that so many have with what is happening now is a sort of addiction are you following us just a little bit it's the way you're looking at things and the beliefs that you hold and then the things that you do to try to compensate for them not being quite the way you want them to be is the subject of this forum all of the time mm -hmm. and so everything that we've been saying about everything can be specifically and successfully applied to that so what is it about an addiction in the way that you mean it that is so unsettling or so uncomfortable or so problematic I think it probably stems from me feeling that with my beliefs that my daughter has wasted her potential her life and missed out on um, the beauty of raising a beautiful child but the thing is and we've been talking a lot about this in these days that we've been together your inner being her inner being all of your inner beings the source within you is giving undivided attention to where you are and forward not where you are and back there is no sense from her inner being that there has been anything wasted or anything lost and this is something that you can't know no one can know it for anyone else you don't know what has been achieved in terms of a vortex you don't know what that life has created vortexually you don't know what is waiting once she achieves the receptive mode in other words you can't tell you see what we're getting at yes. and so these words that we've been offering in these days that we've been together are going to be very helpful for you because that feeling of regret even though you're feeling it for yourself but you're also feeling it for lost potential for your daughter that feeling of regret that feeling is the absence of your inner being joining you in that thought that feeling of regret is your departure from what really is going on that feeling of regret is your inner beings absolute difference in opinion about your daughter and about your daughter's child you see and so when you look at it in that way and then you begin doing something from this point forward in other words wouldn't you like from now on to reach more deliberately for the way your inner being feels about everything isn't that what we've been talking about in all the hours that we've been together and so do you think you can do it on this really important subject yes maybe eventually but do you think that you can do it on this really important subject all of a sudden do you think that you can leave behind your patterns of thought instantaneously and suddenly be feeling joyful on this subject it is unlikely and the reason that we are putting it to you in this blunt way is because that's all right it is not likely the momentum of your experience caused by the momentum of her experience there's a lot of momentum there's a lot of reality there's a lot of what isness there's a lot of addiction to thought going on here and so a belief is an addiction to a thought because a belief is just a drug that you keep taking it's just a thought that you keep thinking and so 
it's not likely that you're going to all of a sudden start thinking different thoughts. That's not rational. That's not the way law of attraction works. That's not the way law of attraction works with you. But are there some subjects that you could focus upon and just move forward? Are there some subjects that easily allow you the receptive mode? Do you believe that your relationship with your daughter has put wonderful things in this vortex that have not yet been realized fully? Do you believe that that vortexual version is there and that you will eventually have access to it? Do you believe that by reaching for the receptive mode and finding it, that an idea will flow to you? And do you believe that a desire will occur to you? Yes. Do you believe that it already has? Yes. And what would you state that desire to be? Allowing. It's acknowledging her divine guidance and her value mm -hmm. and her worthiness and all that is ahead for her mm -hmm. yeah feel that sort of breakthrough yeah yeah thank you be really easy about this because mm -hmm. there is no subject of greater tenderness than the love of a mother for her child and there is so much of this parental maternal love that is flowing but we want you to feel this maternal ongoing love that is coming from ancestors that you have not known there's a long long stream of appreciation for this lineage that is you and there is no deprivation there is no stopping of it there's no behavior there's nothing that has happened that has pinched that off you see and as you know that as you feel that you don't even have to offer words just knowing it as you hold your daughter as your object of attention can cause some influencing of some vibration that is raising before we stop this conversation we want to go back and gather up some really important aspects of it that you felt happen for the first time and that is the notion of the addiction of thought because a thought that you keep thinking just gathers momentum and all things do and so we would like you especially if you have someone that you are aware of that you care about that you've been giving the label of an addiction we would like you to try to put that in the same category of everyone on the planet who holds beliefs that are not helpful to themselves let's just diffuse this whole notion of addiction let's take the struggle out of it and the strain out of it and let's take the blame out of it let's diffuse it let's let it be what it is it's law of attraction continuing a particular focus and focus is not a difficult thing to change if more people would focus upon the subject of addiction with more diffusion and less specifics it would begin to dissipate more it's the looking for the reason for it it doesn't matter why someone reached to that in order to find relief the important thing is that they were reaching for something in a desire to find relief and it doesn't matter that they have not yet found relief the important thing is that they innately know that they are reaching for some relief and the fewer who are standing in the belief of the problem of the addiction then the easier it will be for that to be released are you following what we're yes. getting at here yes. so there's more that we're on the brink of saying and this is an important topic so just sit with us for a little bit and let's have this leading edge discussion so is what you're calling addiction a behavior an action it sort of kind of is isn't it it's a participation with a substance it's a behavior it's an action we could even call it a condition it's a condition it's a condition that is observable it's a condition that's diagnosable it's a condition that is certainly noticeable it's a condition for the most part unwanted it's a condition that a lot of people are experiencing and a lot of other people are focused upon and your society is not moving beyond it because the condition has so much attention focused upon it so it wouldn't take more than a forum about the size of you to find the unconditioned in this subject in order to shift it planetarily you have the ability to find the unconditioned in this so what is the unconditioned what's the unconditioned that this condition is really talking about the condition of addiction what's the unconditioned 
What's the uncondition that addictions are pointing right at? Acceptance, love, worthiness. Mm, worthiness, big one. Acknowledgement, no. all rightness, well being, knowing, perhaps knowing, wholeness, well mattering, being, important, relevant, realized, loved, known, seen, heard, appreciated, real, whole, good. Feel the uncondition of that. As you think about your sweet daughter and you remember this uncondition that we discovered together, as you allow how your inner being feels about her and how her inner being feels about her to be active in your vibration for just a little while, all of your discomfort will subside by not focusing on the condition. Now it's going to take a while for that unconditioned to settle in with you. But as it does, new desires will occur to you. New desires will be realized by you and by her. You're going to see some brighter lights flickering in her eyes. You're going to feel it in yourself. We're not asking you to do anything that you don't feel an enthusiasm to do. In other words, we're going to be the first for a while to stop pushing against this condition because all that's doing is making it more and 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 more. When this is causing that condition to be less and less and less and less and less and less and less. Right now, this teeter totter is tipping and the vibration of well being is the dominant one. Do you know that one who's connected to this stream of consciousness is more powerful than millions who are not? Do you know that if you can just allow the other wonderful things of your life to call you, if you can just reach for the unconditioned for a while, unconditioned of other things, not even the unconditioned of that thing, if you can let the emotion of who you are, who are you? Who are you as physical beings? Who are you as extensions of source energy? Your vibration, you don't even know it. And as vibration, what is the dominant vibration of that which you are? What does it feel like? It feels like sureness. It feels like balance. It feels like clarity. It feels like more. It feels like eagerness. In other words, let these emotions, these unconditional emotions be what you're reaching for, for just a little while. And then you will change conditions that matter to you. But don't let this condition need to be changed. Let it be a belief that will just fade away. Let it be something that will just stop existing by the attention to it. And it will stop existing. Darkness does not exist when light is shined to it. You see what we're getting at? It just doesn't exist anymore. It stops being. This is the only way that anything unwanted will ever be released from your experience. You're never going to push it away. There will never be a war on drugs that will stop any of that or anything like that. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Really good.